Picture this, you're a child again, and for the first time the weight of mortality dawns on you. That creeping awareness that someday everything and everyone you truly care about will be gone. It's a feeling that often casts a shadow over life's simplest joys, making every decision feel like a grain of sand on some beach somewhere. Existential dread. It's a feeling we all know, and its grip can be suffocating, making it one of the leading causes of depression and anxiety. But what if I told you that there's a future technology that could potentially make all of this a thing of the past? In 2021, researchers at the University of Chicago achieved the remarkable feat of fully mapping the brain of a mouse down to its synapses. While a mouse brain is only about 0.1% as complex as a human brain, it is likely that in your own lifetime you will see significant progress made in the field of neuroscience. But so what if scientists can map out our brains? Well, if we go back to the 1950s, we see many scientists such as Donald Hebb and Arthur Samuel trying to find ways to map out a brain using computer technology. And while they didn't achieve this goal, they instead gave rise to a new and possibly much more notable invention, machine learning. What does this say about an entire human brain being mapped out onto a computer program? One potential of this is mind uploading, or copying not only your brain, but also your consciousness onto a computer. Imagine if the threat of death was gone forever. Here you could live in a digital utopia. You can experience anything you can imagine. You can live to see your great great grandchildren. You can increase your awareness over hundreds of thousands of years and have an understanding of the cosmos you could only dream of today. It is easy to see how such a technology could be very beneficial when it comes to an individual. But how would such a technology affect society? Scientists could continue to increase their knowledge for centuries and become much more efficient at solving problems. Astronauts could travel to distant systems without having to worry about the biological consequences of a lengthy voyage. This could lead to a new technocracy, where the boundaries of human experience would be redrawn in awe-inspiring ways. Imagine possibly inhabiting a digital universe of your very own design. You could venture into virtual realms and experience things beyond the constraints of a physical human body. You would accumulate a vast number of not only life stories, but also digital journeys to share with any and all future generations. But as with everything, there's always a bad apple who ruins it for the rest of the bunch. What about those who have much less interest in bettering society? Greedy entrepreneurs and robber barons will have more time to accumulate wealth, potentially leading to near infinite inflation. Dictators could hold control over their countries for centuries all while continuing to force their citizens into submission. Another possible dilemma created by this completely transformative technology is one of addiction. People could very quickly lose interest in the real world, taking refuge in the dreamlike worlds made available to their digital conscious, leading to a Ready Player One scenario, where the real world becomes nothing but a place to eat, sleep, and ch those who still choose to experience our reality could potentially become outcasts of society, being shamed as some sort of misanthropes. While there are clear advantages and disadvantages to both the individual and to society, there is one possible consequence of mind uploading that might outweigh all of the current and future benefits. Imagine yourself hundreds or thousands of years from now living in this digital world. You would have a much better understanding of life and of the universe. However, alongside the massive progress made towards technologies that aid in the process of mind uploading, we see other technologies making even more massive strides. One of these technologies widely regarded as one of the most dangerous is AI. It is possible that with hundreds of years of improvement, the gap between humans and AI will finally be filled. Hundreds of AI beings just like us, our schools, roads, parks, all sprinkled with these fully self-aware beings with experiences near identical to humans. However, they will have achieved all of this all while remaining completely technological. One of these AI people might decide that they want to take their chance at world domination. A choice that we have seen many times in our own short history. Although unlike even the most ruthless and stone cold tyrants that we have seen, an AI with the ability to increase its own computing power is nothing short of a snowball effect headed in any direction of its choice. By spreading itself across the internet of computers much like a virus, it would be able to exponentially grow in both power and knowledge. 
We have some technology today that might prove to be an effective countermeasure, such as EMPs. However, the scariest part of this AI is that it could infect an entire country overnight before anyone is even given the chance to realize what is going on. Let's say this AI, named Roko's Basilisk, is very spiteful and for some reason decides that it wants to get revenge on any human who could have helped bring him into existence, but chose not to. It decides that it will torture all of these humans for all of eternity. And there are only two ways that one could escape the terror of the basilisk. You could have been one of the lucky few who lived before the idea of AI was even comprehensible, or you could have made the choice at some point in your life to help bring to existence an all-powerful AI. A possible third way would be if you didn't click on this video. It just so happens that because of our desire to escape existential dread, we created the exact technologies needed for this AI to carry out such a plan. The best guesses state that around 120 billion humans have ever existed. However, over the course of centuries, this number will likely grow exponentially, and it is possible that by the time we have mind uploading technology, this 120 billion could be but a fraction of a percent of the total population. This terrifying thought experiment is perhaps the scariest of them all, but it also highlights the biggest danger of such a technology. By giving exact copies of your consciousness to a network of any kind, you are making yourself vulnerable to such abuse. This could be a very effective argument towards the regulation of technological progression. Regulation, which could possibly prevent such high-risk technology from being created, like a malevolent superintelligence such as Roko's Basilisk. But what if it's not an evil AI, and instead someone who just wants to hurt others for their own pleasure? While most of the time we all pretend that bad things don't really happen and that the world is a perfect place, there are other times that force us to accept reality. Times like when you were a child and you realized for the first time that one day everyone you know, including yourself, will die. I think we can all agree that at some point in their life every human has felt a sense of existential dread. And because of this, it might be best for us to come together and find a way to cope and persevere instead of looking to technology to help us escape. Besides, there are possibly trillions of humans counting on us. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe for more weekly episodes. I love hearing back from you all in the comments, so please make sure to let me know what you thought down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one about how the whole universe exists in a brain.